Yeah, that's flashing, but the battery is definitely fully charged. So, nothing we can do about it. Just have okay. Does it connect? It connects. Alright. High ratio. That's the access code. Okay, it connects. Start it up. High ratio. Bullshit turning it on and off. Oh, it's connected off. Turn it on. Alright. Now, yeah, just leave it for a minute. A second, you got to turn them on together, otherwise, if it doesn't connect, it won't connect. If it doesn't connect straight away, it won't connect. But I don't think that's the case. I reckon you can just... And it'll connect. Probably by the time I freaking walk over here. I don't know, not quite. Didn't connect. Let's see if it's that problem again. Connected. Uh, connected. Alright. 
third straight. Yep. Low ratio. Final. Right oh. Play with this thing. I think it stays ready to connect. So that if you just start it up again. It just connects, yeah. Press one, two, three. Alright, we'll get the link. Throttle down. Okay. So, yeah, it moves. Right on. Alright, so if you turn the unit off, you can just turn it back on. Too easy, man. Alternator, this harness down here, has a diode and a resistor in it. So that sensing wire goes down into the harness, connects to a wire inside the harness, comes back up to the resistor, which was broken, and then back up to the indicate wire. The indicate wire doesn't actually go to the computer, I found out. The indicate wire is actually momentarily powered through the diode to turn on the regulator and the regulator just keeps on charging so long as the motor's running. Uh, so it's got new bearing in the front, new belt, charging, fine. So that's that one. Done.